the Clarksville Academy Choir, ladies and gentlemen. Huh. All right. Good evening, everybody. We want to welcome you to Clarksville, Tennessee, where we're going to pick up our broadcast as the, the Saints of Mount Juliet Christian are set to take on the Cougars from Clarksville Academy. Joining me tonight in the booth, a little special guest, Cameron Lust. Cameron, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. It's nice to be here. A little warm, but it's a gorgeous night. It's very warm. 88 degrees here at kickoff tonight. Kicking this one off a little bit early, 6.30 tonight as opposed to 7.00. Going to allow the Saints to get home uh, at a decent hour. Is It's about an hour and 15-minute drive up here. Cameron Saints are going to have their hands full tonight. They're playing a very good uh, Clarksville Academy team. Uh, a couple of years ago, these squads were very, very competitive. Uh, Clarksville Academy has just grown leaps and bounds over the past couple of years. Saints are going to have their hands full. Uh, Saints have elected, uh, they've won the toss and elected to receive the football Saints are going to be in their blue pants, white jerseys, royal blue numerals and letters trimmed in gold. Clarksville Academy looks very similar to our other uniforms. Trim royal blue uniforms, white numerals and letters trimmed in gold, blue helmets, gold face masks. Saints are going to be in their white helmets tonight with their blue face masks. Looks Deep like to, return, to return this kick. Uh, it's going to be Wilson and Lamberth set to kick off for the Cougars will be number 10. Nolan Blake, six foot one senior punter. Kick is going to be deep, received by Wilson at the five. Wilson 10, 15, 20, gets a block outside, fights forward and down at about the 25, 26 yard line. Solid run there by Wilson. Just didn't get the, the block he needed on the edge, or he, he might could have had a few more yards out on that thing. Yeah, it looked like he could have got a couple extra yards, just really didn't have the. Blocking he needed, got a little tripped up, but nice little spin move trying. Kickoff runs four seconds off the clock. Cameron tonight, Van Molly going to trot out and start as quarterback for the Saints. We're actually uh, moving to the pistol. It's our first week, moving away from the veer. Three wide receivers set, two receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Two men in the backfield beside Van Molly. It's going to be Wilson and Lee. Four-man front here by the Cougars. Van Molly and shotgun. Barks out instructions, sets a man in motion. Van Molly takes a snap, turns. It's a pitch play, Wilson. Wilson tries the left side. He's got the 25. He's got the 30. He'll be forced out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Good solid gain there for the Saints on first down. Wilson gets up, trots back, sprints back, I should say, <laughs> to the huddle. You know, Wilson is that guy who's high energy, who's all heart and character, and he's going to play hard. Whole game, no matter what the score is, either way. He'll give his all 100% any day, any sport. Gain of a, right at six on first down will bring up second down and four. Down and Not four. a bad play for the first time trying out a new offense. Clock still says 1147 on it. Van Molly and shotgun. Three wide receivers this time, one man in the backfield, one tight end. Here we go. Jones across the middle, receives the pass complete. Jones has got the 40, and he's got his first down. A Wilson Bank and Trust first down for Jones. Always a great receiver, Jones. Jones, uh, you know, he, he we've said it all year. He uh, He's kind of on his own playing field. Uh, you know, great hands for the big fella. He looks like a football player. Tremendous blocker. He's got the tight end characteristics down packed. Gain of right at seven will be a first down for the Saints. 11-20 to play first quarter. First and ten Saints. Van Molly in shotgun. Puts a man in motion, Wilson. Van Molly turns, flicks it to Wilson. Wilson tries the right side of the line. Wilson's got the 40. He's got the 45. He's going to dive forward to about the 47. Solid gain there on first down again for Wilson as he gets up and sprints back to the huddle. Advancing pretty fast, pretty fast. About eight-yard gain there. For the Saints on first down. This team's been putting up a great defense against other teams. It's good to see that we're already moving that fast against this, them. This Cougar defense is no joke. And the Saints have had a little bit of success early in games driving the football. 
But they've just had those costly turnovers, Cameron, that have really, really hurt us. Let's see if the Saints can at least continue this drive. That's what we're hoping to see tonight. Second and a long two. Van Molle in shotgun. Van Molle back to pass. Van Molle in trouble. Going to float it out. He's going to throw that one out of bounds, but he was outside the tackle box. So that's a good safe play there Van, by Van Molle. I'm not so sure that Lamberth ran the right route. Looked a bit confused on that one, but they'll work it out in the huddle. No harm there. Third down and a long two for the Saints. Be great to pick up a first down here. In order to get the first down, you're going to have to put the nose of the football into Cougar territory. They need just the other side of midfield. I believe this is Rick's first start as a quarterback, correct? It is Rick's first start as the Saints quarterback. He's had playing time in the last couple of games. Yes, yes. His first appearance of the season, a dreadful one. He started out the game 0 for 7 and finished rough. 1 for 11, but already beating those numbers so far tonight. Van Molle in shotgun, two men in the backfield, three wide receivers set. Van Molle is going to pitch to Wilson. Ooh. Wilson fumbled the football. I think the Saints have recovered, but Cameron, already got that's, one. that's the play. Let's see what happened here. The Saints did recover. Thibodeau recovered it for the guys in white. But that's going to be a loss of about five yards. Going to bring up fourth and seven. This will uh, insert the punting team in. Definitely <clears throat> didn't need that. Cougars have some electric playmakers. Very, very potentially dangerous in the return game. Lamberth stands at his own 28 to punt away the football. The snap goes to Lamberth. Lamberth gets away a punt. It's a high one. It's a wobbler. Going to be fielded by the Cougars at about the 25, and he's going to be hit. Oh, breaks a tackle. Nice Number 22, Jalil Stubbs, going to have a positive gain. Cameron, it looked like the ball kind of took a funny hop off the turf there. It actually hit Stubbs in the face mask, but he was able to uh, pick it up. Honestly, he shouldn't have had any kind of return at all. Was able to make a man miss. Darted forward for about seven. Line of scrimmage is going to be right at the 34-yard line. Looks like, a, looks like a very quick team. We don't have any huge bodies out there, but we got some pretty look, quick looking kids. Here comes Jacob Rugen, the junior quarterback, six foot two, 190 on for the Cougars. They're in a bunch formation. They're going to shift out of that. Hmm. They're going to go three wide receivers to the far side, one to the near side. Here comes a screen pass. It's taken away. Hmm. Oh, no. Number 22, the receiver did catch it. That's Stubbs. Stubbs turns the corner. He's got midfield. He's got the 45. He's got the 40. He's going to be down at the 38. Wow. I literally thought Thibodeau reached up and took that one out of the air. Cameron, he probably should have. That was dangerously close to being six points the other way for the Saints. Thibodeau not able to come up there with that play. Screen pass goes for big yardage. Cougars in business. First down, 10 to go at the Saint. 33 and a half yard line. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that was Ben Easton, number 58. Come Saints are going to blow coverage here. They've got two receivers on this side. No one back guarding them. Here's oh. the play deep to number 10. It's a touchdown to Clay Gold. Can't let that happen. Touchdown Academy. Wide open downfield. Number 17, Michael Kahn, a freshman, comes off, receives the handoff. Lambert bit. They threw it over his head. Touchdown. Touchdown. CA. So just like that, the quick strike offense by the Cougars gives them a six point lead. Cougars electing to go for two here. Number four in the Wildcat. Ooh. He's hit at the goal line. He dives forward. I don't think he got it. <clears throat> They're giving it to him. Six oh. nothing your score. We're gonna take a quick break. You're listening to Mountain Juliet Christian Academy Saints football on the World Wide Web. Where can a child receive a quality education based on biblical truth? Mount Juliet Christian Academy. They can pray openly would be, if I had to say one thing about Mount Juliet Christian Academy, just means so much to our family. Our children come home, they pray for one another throughout the day. And I think that will carry into their lives every day once they leave Mount Juliet Christian Academy. So prayer daily means a lot to us. For a quality education with timeless values, Mount Juliet Christian Academy. 
Matt and Cam coming back to you live here. We're in Clarksville at the Clarksville Academy Athletic Facility. Beautiful place out here, Cameron. Yeah, not the not the way we wanted to start out, but it's still really early in the game. We got eight minutes left in the first half, so nine minutes. A lot of football left to be played here. Six nothing Cougars. We're here at Simpson Field. Nine minutes to play, just under nine minutes to play, I should say, in the opening quarter. Play goes to kick off for the Cougars. Goad to kick off. Goad kicks this one high and deep. This is going to be taken by Lamberth at the goal line. They're going to. I didn't believe he took it out of the goal line, but I guess I'm wrong. I guess they're going to say. They never whistled this one into play, so I guess they're going to re-kick this one. A little bit of confusion amongst the Saints on what's going on right now as the Saints only have about six players on the field. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'm missing up four, so. Eight, nine, two. There they are. All right. I believe the explanation we're getting is, is the referee put his arm in play, but he never whistled it in play, so it will be a re-kick. You know, I thought that they had said that Lamberth uh, was in the end zone on a knee, and I, I, it looked to me like he was at about the two, so a little confused there, but no harm, no foul. Let's see if the Saints can get uh, one of these trademark big returns and try to set themselves up with some pretty good field position. Noah's had quite a few good returns this year. Wilson, one of the, the Saints' true playmakers, a guy that could potentially go the distance on most any play. The problem is the Cougars have several of those guys. That they do. Goad's going to kick this one off again. This one will be taken by Wilson at the 5. Wilson 10, Wilson 15, 20. Wilson 25, 30. Wilson 35, Wilson. tackled there by number 17, Michael Kahn. You know, if he could have gotten past Kahn and out to the left sideline, Wilson had a little more running room. Great tackle there by Kahn and the Cougars. It looked as if he almost had it free, but a little ankle tackle tripped him up at the 35. Wilson Bink and Trust first down Saints, the line of scrimmage. Our own 35-and-a-half yard line. Pretty good starting field position, Cameron. I think uh, – I think Coach will take that. Coach Roberts will take that most of the day. I'm sure Coach is very happy to see 35. Van Molly, under center, turns hands to Wilson. Saints never got set, and that's a big problem because Wilson's going to get about eight yards. I'm not sure who number two is, but he was absolutely lost. He never even got set up right. That's a bad, bad mistake there by him. Now, that was Dallas's number. It was actually uh, Trevor's. It was Trevor. So, anyways, do it's, we have any idea who that is? Uh, we were actually looking at him early. It might be Nathan Green. Illegal but procedure. Listed at 44. I'm not aware of any new players on our team. Somebody's probably just switched numbers. Anyways, it's going to be a five-yard procedure penalty against the Saints. And, Cameron, that's one of those mistakes that you just have to get corrected. There's little things that hurt you in the end. First down, 15 for the Saints. The five-yard penalty backs them up to the 31. 8.41 to play first quarter. 6 nothing Cougars. Van Molly faces a 4-3 defense. He's in the shotgun. Van Molly on the option. Get an option and out to the back Lee. Lee going to get to the original line of scrimmage. The ball came out. Was he down? It was close. Hold everything. The Academy has the football. We're going to say the ball came out on Lee. The ball did come out. With 8.32 on the clock. Cougars are going to be able to recover this one. I'm sure after last game, Coach is not happy with two fumbles already this early in the first quarter. Clarksville Academy is too good of a team. They don't need any of our help, fellas. I can assure you of that. Ranked number six in the state coming in 3-0. 
Let's not give it away now. Again, we're going to have some blown coverage. Clarksville's got two wide receivers here. We've got Gilbert Russ, a defensive end, on number seven, one of their most electric playmakers. Rugen takes a snap, quarterback keeper, 35-30, makes a man miss, 25, dives inside the 20, flag comes out. This is going to be a hold on Academy. It's going to be on number 60, a hold or a block in the back, whichever way they want to call it. It's going to negate a pretty good run there by the quarterback, Rugen. I'm Looks like the foul happened right at the 22-yard line. I'm wondering if that was a mistake that Gilbert was put on one of their fastest Holding wide receivers. The Holding foul happened right at the 22, which is going to back it up to about the 32. Rugen and shotgun, one man beside him. That's Anderson. Four wide receivers. Rugen throws the screen pass. This one's going for a negative yardage. Number 10 has it. Go, but he's going to be tackled in the backfield by the Saints. Number 56, Charles Lane. Charles Lane actually just recently joined the team about two weeks ago, and he's, he's put in a lot of effort. He's worked really hard to get where he is. Already starting, so... Loss of a couple will bring up second and eight. Don't forget that penalty was assessed there on first down. Here's the handoff to the back. Number one, he'll try the right side, Anderson. Anderson makes a man miss at the 30, dives inside to about the 28 or so. He's going to be just shy of his first down. I believe it's going to be third and a long one. Let's see where they mark him. It'll be third down for the Cougars. They'll spot the ball at the, the 29. Ball will be spotted at the 29. He needs the 26 and a half, so about two yards. Rugen under center. Hands to the back straight up the middle. I don't think he's got it. Let's see where they mark him. Solid. Good play there. Lee was in on the tackle for the Saints. The ball carrier was Washington. I'm sorry, Anderson. Big Bryce Perry in there on that play as well. Had some help from Benny Easton. They gained about a yard. It's going to bring up fourth and one. Let's see if the Saints can come up with a big stop here. Our defense Cougars has are going been for it. Pretty good lately. <clears throat> Rugen's going to come out with three running backs in the formation. Rugen going to pull this one down. He's going to die. He's got his first down at about the 22 yard line. Cameron, I think that was a designed run, a little misdirection play action there, and then it was just a run play. It looks like they just switched out of it, couldn't find a man open, saw the opportunity, took it, first down. First down, Cougars. We've got a whistle and timeout. Timeout, Cougars. 6.21 to play first quarter from Simpson Field. It's 6-0 Clarksville Academy. You're listening to Mount Juliet Christian Academy Saints on the World Wide Web. There is a school where your children can feel safe, a school where they can play and pray together while receiving a quality education based on biblical truth. That school is Mount Juliet Christian Academy. Everything they do has a, a biblical base to it. When they do a history lesson or a science lesson, the, the biblical applications, mm -hmm. they study that also That's on right. every single one. Prepare your child for college in a Christian atmosphere, for a quality education with timeless values. Mount Juliet Christian Academy. 6.21 to play opening quarter. It's 6-0 Cougars. Cam, the Saints have had a little bit of success offensively, but shot themselves in the foot twice. Fumbled away the ball on both possessions so far. Clarkson was able to capitalize on the first. They're doing a pretty good job on the second, but we've got a whistle. And we've got a personal foul. We're going to have an unsportsmanlike conduct on Clarksville Academy's coach. Hmm. So that's probably going to back them up 15 yards. Anything helps. What do we got? It's unsportsmanlike conduct against Clarksville Academy. Going to back them up 15 yards. So. 
Cam, I don't know if 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 the coach said. So. I mean, he was out on the field for a time. Well, he didn't look upset. I don't know that he's got anything to be upset with the referees. But he might have been a little frustrated with his team. But uh, I, I that one that one's beyond me. I'm not really sure what the unsportsmanlike was. Like you said, he looks looks look calm upset to me. Rugen's just going to try the middle off the option. He'll cross the 35. He'll dive down to about the 33. Solid gain there on first down. Let's see here. He's going to gain a few yards there. Let's call it gain of about five. We'll bring up second and 20. Rugen, three men in the backfield. Rugen, play action, back to pass. Going to try to get Goad. He's got Goad down at the five. The senior, Clay Goad, 5'10", 164-pound senior, got pass number two out there, able to haul that one in. Going to be first down and goal for the Cougars at about the five-yard line. 5.45 to play here, first quarter. Rugen and shotgun. Rugen, going to roll right. Got a man wide open, finds it. Oh, he overthrew him. Jalil Stubbs was the intended receiver, but uh, Rugen just never set his feet and delivered a good pass there. Uh, that's kind of one of those unforced errors. The Saints blew the coverage there. Stubbs was wide open, and Rugen probably had time to set his feet and deliver a good pass. Always tough to roll out and throw on the run. Oh, yeah. Rugen going to keep it straight up the middle. He'll dive for the goal, and he lost the ball. The ball's loose, waiting for... Some sort of signal. Not sure if he crossed the line before he dropped the football, They'll but we'll see what the refs say. It's going to mark him down inside the one. Third and goal. Rugen, same play. Quarterback keeper up the middle, touchdown. Touchdown Academy! Looks like the Cougars are going to leave their offense on the field again. The Academy will go for two. Never really understood all the teams that go for two-point conversions on their first drives in the first half. Anyways, here's Rugen. Rugen, back to pass. Quick slant across the middle is good. 14-nothing Cougars. Number 16, Ivan Number 16. Ivan Purcell on the reception for the two-point conversion. New score, 5-10 to play here from Simpson Field. 14-0, Clarksville Academy Cougars. You're listening to Saints Football on the World Wide Web. There is a school where your children can feel safe, a school where they can play and pray together while receiving a quality education based on biblical truth. That school is Mount Juliet Christian Academy. We feel really safe here at the Academy in this environment. Um, we feel good about what they're learning, how they learn. I can bring my kids to school each day, and I don't worry about it. There them. is a school no where your children can feel safe, day, a school where they can here. play and well, pray together while we live timeless there is a school where your children can feel safe, a school where they can play and pray together while receiving a quality education based on biblical truth. That school is Mount Juliet Christian Academy. We feel really safe here at the Academy in this environment. Um, we feel good about what they're learning, how they learn. I can bring my kids to school each day, and I don't worry about them. No matter what's taking place in my day, I know they're safe here. For a quality education with timeless values, Mount Juliet Christian Academy. <coughs> Five ten to play first quarter, 14 nothing Cougars. Goad set to kick off for the guys in blue. Wilson and Lamberth back to return for the Saints. Goad going to kick this one higher but shorter. Lamberth will take it at the 10. Lamberth 15, 20. Lamberth breaks outside. 25, 30. Lamberth tackled by the kicker. Goad at about the 40-yard line. He took quite a hit at the legs right there. Looks like he's having some trouble getting back up. Lamberth is still down as he got his legs cut out from under him. Always a dangerous way to tackle. 
It looked like he was about to take that one all the way home. He's stumbling a bit. Let's hope he's okay. Lamberth trying hard to get up, but Cam, but Cam he's going to have to come out for at least a couple of plays. Lamberth, a tough kid, would want to stay in there, but yeah. it's definitely we already have lost Raymer for at least this game. He's out due to head injuries, and we can't we don't need another loss. Hopefully, that's not a knee. And you're right, with not without having Raymer for a couple of games as he's battling through concussions. Saints can't afford to lose any more seniors back in that secondary. Van Molly in shotgun. Going to turn, hand off to Wilson. Wilson's hit at the line of scrimmage, dives forward, probably gains about a yard. Going to bring up second down. I believe they have Jay Brown starting in Preston's place. I thought it was supposed to be Jackson, but I can't seem to find it out in the field. Jackson, number 44. He's on the sideline over there. I'm sorry. Jackson's 42, isn't he? Yes. Really? Yeah, that's him. Van Molly in shotgun. Three wide receivers, one man in the backfield. Van Molly crossing pattern. He's got Jones. Jones across the middle, drags a couple tacklers with him. He's going to be a couple of yards short of his first down. Looks He's going to bring up third and two. He's going to be receiving most of the passes this evening. Hey, if I'm Van Molly, I try to find uh, I try to find Big Zach uh, anytime I can. Big hands, very tall. We're under four to play here. It's 14 nothing Cougars. Saints whistle. Looks like we've got a. Uh, an equipment issue out there for the Saints. Now we're ready to go. Third down and two, Van Molly. Going to give this one to Wilson on a sweep. Wilson's got to get north and south. He does. He's going to cross the 50. I think he's got his first down barely. Tackle was made there by big Austin Esposito, uh, senior defensive end, six foot, 191 pounds. He's been battling concussions as well. There was some thought that he might not be able to play tonight, but good to see Austin out there. You hate to see any seniors lose any time their last year of eligibility. It's got to hurt. Wilson does have his first down. It's a Wilson Bank and Trust first down. Noah Wilson. 3.15 and counting, first quarter, it's 14-0 Cougars. Van Molly's going to come out in a pistol. He's going to have Lee beside him. Two wide receivers to the near side, one to the far side. Jones lined up on tight end on the near side. He's going to put Wilson into motion. Hold everything. Whistle. A and a flag on the play. Going to be a delay of game on the Saints. Boy, they must have just, just not got that play off. Going to cost the Saints five yards. The line of scrimmage will back up from midfield to the Saint 45. What that might have to do is trying to install this brand new offense just this week can be a little tough to get the little tweaks out of it. Van Molly in the pistol. He's got Lee behind him. Van Molly takes a snap, hands off Lee. Lee tries the right side of the line. He's going to barrel forward. For a couple of yards, Esposito on the tackle again. Boy, there was some contact there. I get the feeling that Esposito uh, is an Elliott Lee type player there for the Cougars. Hard nosed, not afraid of physical contact. Matter of fact, likes the contact. That's the best way to describe Elliott Lee. Lee's going to gain about two. Going to bring up second down and 13 after the penalty there on the previous play. Gain of two. Van Molle in shotgun. Three wide receivers, one man in the backfield. He's going to motion number 27. Van Molle rolling out. Screen pass number 27, incomplete. He was looking for Race McLean. McLean uh, didn't ever look like he really wanted to ever catch that football. Cougars were right there. 
would have been a little to no gain even if the pass was completed. Going to bring up third down and 13. One fifty-two to play opening quarter. Let's see if the Saints get Jones involved here. Van Molly. Shotgun snap. It's a screen pass over to Wilson. Wilson giving ground north and south. He'll be hit and will drop for a two-yard loss. Going to bring up fourth and 15. Too much east and west running there, Cam. Not, it's just not the way you gain yards. Fourth down and 15, and Lamberth is going to hobble out there, and he's going to try to punt this one away. Deep to receive will be Clay Goad and number 22, Jalil Stubbs. Lamberth takes a snap. This is a short line drive. That's going to take a Saints bounce. Goad's going to field it at the 15. Goad, 20, 25, 30. Gilbert Russ able to get Goad down. Boy, I tell you, if Goad could have gotten past Russ, he's probably still running. Might have been a touchdown saving tackle there by Russ. Instead, the Cougars will take over first down, 10 to go at their own 32-yard line. Gilbert's got those big, great arms that can grab just the right guy to get him down, save a play. Rugen and shotgun. Four wide receivers set, two on each side, spread out wide. One man in the backfield. They give us to the back number seven. He's going to be hit from behind by Lee and dropped. Loss of a couple on a shoestring tackle there by Lee. Good play there by Elliott. Cut right through the offensive line. Loss of about one will bring up second and 11. A loss of one. Second down for the Academy. Cougars going to run their hurry up offense here. 45 seconds to play first quarter, but they want to go quickly. They want, they want a lot of offensive plays. Rugen. Back to pass, floats one across the middle, overshot his man. That was number 22, Jalil Stubbs. Stubbs got past Harrell. If Stubbs catches that, he might have pay dirt. Clock stops with 36 seconds to play here from Simpson Field. Rugen under center. Now in shotgun, receives a snap. He's going to roll out 30, 35, 40. He's going to be hit and dropped by number seven for the Saints, Andy Pittman. Rugen did a good job of rolling out there. I think that was an intended pass play. Saints got some pressure there, Cam. We've always had very impressive defense, I always thought. <laughs> 25 seconds to play. Pass is completed over to Goad. Goad crosses into St. Territory. He's going to be down at about the 45-yard line. I think he's going to have his first down. Leave that right in between some Saints' hands. You know, Josh Anderson tried to jump up and catch that football, but it went right into Goad's hands. I'm not sure if that was intended for Goad. Worked out well for the Cougars. Rugen in shotgun, going to roll out to his right this time. Got a man wide open, delivers a strike, completed the 40. Receiver's going to be down at about the 36-yard line. This looks like a pass-happy offense. Seems to be working for him, too. Number 16, Ivan Purcell, the guy who taught, caught the touchdown pass a moment ago, makes that reception. We've played one quarter here from Clarksville, Sim Simpson Field. 14-0 Cougars, you're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web.
Washington, the carrier. Are we on? By number 68, Gilbert Russ. Put it on the thing. It is. No, Note this. Submit it. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay, we're on. We'll go on in a minute. Okay, let's go. 11 28 play first half 14 nothing Cougars first down 10 to go Cougars line of scrimmages the Saint 31 Rugen and shotgun four wide receivers one man in the backfield Actually, three wide receivers. I've got a tight end that checked into the game. Rugen going to keep it. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15. Downed at about the 12-yard line. Nathan Green going to save a touchdown there. First down Academy. Had quite the hole there waiting for him. This Clarksville Academy uh, Cougars line just kind of imposing their will on a, on a smaller Saints defensive line, but hey, that's what good teams do. Rugen in shotgun, going to roll out, try to pass this way. He's going to float it to the back. That's Washington. I'm sorry, Anderson, touchdown. Cam, that's the second time tonight we've seen the Saints try to guard the quick Anderson with Gilbert Russ. Gilbert Russ is a good football player, but he's one of the biggest players on the Saints team. He's listed as a defensive lineman. He does not need to be guarding running backs. No, not someone that fast, definitely not. Clarksville going to kick this one. Justin Hood on for point after. The snap, the set, the kick's on the way. The Looks good from up. here. And it is. Hood is good. 21-0 Cougars, 10.50 to play. First half, we'll take a quick break. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web. There is a school where your children can feel safe, a school where they can play and pray together while receiving a quality education based on biblical truth. That school is Mount Juliet Christian Academy. Everything they do has a, a biblical base to it. When they do a history lesson or a science lesson, the, the biblical applications, mm -hmm. they study that also That's on right. every single one. Prepare your child for college in a Christian atmosphere, for a quality education with timeless values. Mount Juliet Christian Academy. Ten fifty to play here, second quarter, 21-0 Cougars. Saints are going to be going uh, right to left on your computer screen. They're dressed in their white jerseys, blue pants, white helmets, blue face mask, blue numerals and letters trimmed in gold. Cam, from afar, this kind of looks like an inter-squad scrimmage as far as the uniforms go. Very, very similar uh, set here to what the Saints wear uh, when they're at home. Cheerleaders and everything. This place has almost the exact color scheme that we have. Deep to receive the kick will be Wilson and Lambert. Goad set to kick off. Kicker's been booting some pretty far kicks tonight. Goad raises his hand. He approaches it, sends this one sailing and into the end zone. Lamberth is just going to take an E. We'll take it at the 20. First down, Saints. It'll be a Wilson Bank and Trust first down for the Saints at the 20-yard line. Cam, you kind of got the feeling Saints need to try to score on a drive if they want to climb back into this ball game. Definitely need to get something going here. We've got a whistle and a timeout. I don't know if this is a TV timeout or <laughs> I didn't see who called it. But we'll take a break with them. 21 nothing Cougars. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web.
21 nothing Cougars here from Simpson Field. 10 minutes, 50 seconds to play here in the first half. Cam, if the Saints had to, well, really, if either team, whoever had to use that timeout, I'm not sure that was a very good timeout to have to burn right out of a kickoff. I'm still not sure who called it. Van Molly going to try it out in quarterback. Saints are going to try a little bit different of a formation, a little more of a bunch. Here comes the pistol, though. Lee in the backfield. Misdirection handoff to the Saints. Pittman. Pittman running hard, just not much there. A couple of yard gain there on first down. Still sticking to a pretty heavy run scheme. Second and about eight. Beautiful, beautiful athletic facilities the Cougars have here. They've got their baseball field, softball field, and then the football stadium here as well. I'm not sure if they play their soccer matches here on this field. They do, I'm being told. Oh, they've actually got a separate soccer field. Excuse me. Van Molly in shotgun. Back to pass. Van Molly in trouble. Checks down, gives it to Pittman. Pittman runs forward. He's going to dive, and he's going to be about a yard and a half short of his first down. You know, Kim, I'm impressed with Van Molly there. He wanted to find Jones. Jones was double teamed. Van Molly checked down twice until he found Pittman. Pittman caught the ball basically at the line of scrimmage and then darted forward for about a six-yard gain, going to leave the Saints with a third and about one. Saints need to capitalize and get a first down here. Van Molly in the option. Going to pitch it back to the back, number 25, and he'll be thrown for a loss. Stephen Harris is going to get that carry. Harris is going to lose about two, going to bring up third, fourth and a long three. It'll be fourth down to two. Lamberth into the game. You don't expect the Saints to do anything tricky here as a mistake could be costly. Cougars only going to put one man back deep to receive, and it's going to be number 10, Clay Goad. Lamberth takes a bad snap, fields it, gets away a terrible punt, though. It's going to bounce, and Goad's going to pick it up at the 40. Goad, 45, midfield. Goad breaks an arm tackle, another. Goad, 40. Goad, 30. He's gone. 20, 10, end zone, touchdown, Goad. Touchdown! Huge tackles missed right there. Could have been taken a lot earlier than that. Well, it's been a characteristic of the Saints all year long. When they get tired, they start arm tackling. Goad broke three of those arm tackles and trotted into the end zone. These guys have worn us down fairly fast compared to our other matches. This is a fantastic team, though. 8.35 to play first half. Here come the Cougars for the point after. Goad for point after. The snap, the set, the kick. The kick is up. It's good. And the kick is New good. score with 8.35 to play here, first half. 28 nothing Cougars.
28-0 Cougars, 8.35 to play here first half. Are you ready for some football? It's football time in Tennessee. Goad set to kick off for the Cougars. Deep to receive will be Lambert and Wilson again. This one's going to be taken by Lambert at the goal line. 5, 10, 15, ran right into tacklers, and he lost the football, and the Cougars have it. That's number three of the night. I'm not even sure how the Saints retained possession. A Cougar got up with the football. The ball was clearly out. Saints probably benefit maybe on the pity side there. Lambert just showing no elusiveness there. He just ran right into the arms of his tackler. Did have. It is impressive, though. He did just come out of that pretty hard hit earlier, right to the knees. So his knees might not be right back to where they could be. 28 0. Van Molly needs to get his team moving. Rick turns, tosses, puts Wilson in motion, tosses it to him. Wilson's going to be dropped for a loss. Too much east and west running. Big loss. Loss of about five. Going to bring up second and 15. Van Molly in shotgun, puts a man in motion. Van Molly going to roll out, going to fling this one across the middle, should be intercepted, but he overthrew even Goad. Boy, Van Molly tried to get that to Lambert. That was a dangerous, dangerous pass there by Rickish. Seems like a little desperation showing, looking for anything at this point. Going to bring up third and long. Seven and a half minutes to play first half. Van Molly going to have four wide receivers, one man in the backfield. Van Molly sets up the screen, throws to Jones. Jones catches it, but he's going to be thrown for a loss back at the 10. Looks like he tried to throw some people off, but too many people on him, about three. They're going to spot Jones at the 10, going to bring up fourth down and a long 17. Lambert going to be backed up in his own end zone to punt. The Cougars should have great field position here. Of course, Goad returned the last one. Cougars look like they may be trying to come after this one. Lambert gets the punt away. It's very short, not a good punt. It's going to take a Saints hop after we kick it. And it'll be down at about the 35-yard line. Not the best punt we could have ever done. Oh, it's going to be back at the 29-yard line. So just a 19-yard punt there net for Lambert. Go, going to set up the screen. Complete. 25, down to the 20, down around the 17, first down Cougars. That's another BFS insurance crew, first down Academy. Northeast Academy, Northeast Northeast is leading White's Creek in high school football action, 7 and up. Whistle now into timeout Saints. Timeout comes with 6.34 to play here first half. 28-0 Cougars. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web.
Rugen brings out the Cougar offense. They'll have it first down, 10 to go at the Saints 16. Rugen, quick slant that is dropped by number 34, Jordan Patton. Went right through his hands. He's a sophomore wide receiver outside linebacker, 5'9", 149. Not a great thrown ball there by Rugen, but certainly catchable by Patton. He doesn't look too happy either. Cougars hurry back to the line. Rugen puts a man in motion. Rugen back to pass. Tries to set up a screen. It's knocked down by Thibodeau. Hey, big fella, just hold on to that one. Good volleyball spike there, Seth, but hold on to that one and maybe trot to the other side of the field. Right in his hands. Incomplete pass. Ball falls harmlessly to the ground. Third down and ten. Seth Thibodeau. Six twenty-six to play here, first half. Going to bring up third and ten for the Cougars after the drop and the incomplete pass. Rugen, three men in the backfield. Rugen hands off to the back. That's Anderson. Anderson has the ten. He's got about the five. He'll be close to his first down. Let's see where they mark him. He's had a heck of a game so far. It's going to be fourth down. I think he's going to be about a yard, half a yard short. I'm assuming the Cougars are going to go for this. Offense is staying on the field. Let's see if the Saints can get a stop. This will be the first fourth down they've gone for. Rugen going to keep it himself, but there's a hold. Number seven held Thibodeau. There was absolutely no reason for number seven. <clears throat> He's going to cost his team a touchdown. It looks Ron like. Washington is going to cost his team a touchdown. There was no need to hold Thibodeau on the other side of the field. Thibodeau had zero shot of catching up to the quarterback. He'll definitely be hearing about that on Monday. Coaches will not be happy when they see that tape, that's for sure. It's going to go from fourth and half a yard to fourth and just short of 11. 14 to nothing. And high school football around the city. Let's see if the Cougars are going to go for this or if they're going to try a field goal. Looks like they're in a tight formation. The ball would be put down at the 28, making this about a 38-yard field goal. Now, Go has the leg for this. I'm not sure I bother kicking this, though. Let's see. Snap, set, kicks on the way. Plenty of distance. My goodness. It's good. Cam, that one might have been good from about 45. I'd say so. I mean, But we've got more flags. We've seen a lot of flags this game. They'll bring it back. Still waiting on the signal. A false start. That's not a very characteristic play on a field goal, especially by a team like the Cougars. I didn't see anybody move, but... Nor did I. Don't worry, Goad's got plenty of distance. That one was good from probably 50 yards easy. This is going to go from a 38-yard kick to about a 43-yard kick. We should have no trouble getting this one through the uprights. Snap. Set, kicks on the way from 43. That one was even better than the first. I can see him possibly booting a 50-yarder. Well, that particular kick was from 43, and it was good. Cam, there's no doubt that one would have been good from 53. I'd say so. 528 to play here, first half, 31-0 Cougars. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web.
5.28 to play first half, 31-0 Cougars. Go to be set to kick off. Lambert and Wilson to return. Goad is going to directional kick this short. It's going to stop at the 15. It'll be taken by Wilson there. Wilson hit and, excuse me, that's Lambert. He fought it. He didn't want to go down. Gain of about a yard on the kickoff return. That's uh, it's not real good. Line of scrimmage will be the 14. It'll be a Wilson Bank and Trust first down for the Saints. Seems like the Saints have kind of got away from the success they had early. Just playing simple and running the football. Van Molly. Misdirection hands off, gives to Wilson. Wilson, 15, 16, maybe the 17. Gain of a couple, not much there. Again, a lot of east and west running for the Saints. Clock running with under five to play here in the first half. Second down and eight. Van Molly comes out with three wide receivers, two to the far side, one man in the backfield. Van Molly throws a screen pass and overthrows everybody. Not even close. Incomplete pass, going to bring up third and eight. Just an inch too high out of Lambert's hands. Four and a half minutes to play here. First half, 31-0 Cougars. Van Molle in shotgun. Van Molle in deep trouble. He's sacked by Esposito. He looked for somewhere to throw it. Couldn't find a new one open. By number 45, Austin Esposito. Austin Esposito came straight up the middle. I'm not sure he was touched. Van Molle didn't even have time to throw it away. That's a loss back down to the... Six or seven yards, seven yard line. Lambert is going to be standing about eight yards deep in his own end zone. Here come the Cougars. The snap is a good one. Lambert gets it away. It's not a good kick again. Goad going to field it at the 35. Goad 30. Goad 25. Dives forward to about the 23. Never good starting out for the defense when they're already on your 24 yard line. 31-0 Cougars. They'll be looking for more here with 3.49 to play here first half. And plenty of time to do it. <clears throat> Rugen going to come out, four wide receivers set, one man in the backfield. That's Ron Washington with him. Rugen going to throw it out to number 16. He'll, he's got the 20. He dives forward down to about the 16. That was Ivan Purcell on the reception. Going to be about three or four yards short, about three yards short of his first down. Going to bring up second and seven. I'm sorry, second and three. Whistle now, and we've got a flag. Got a false start on the Cougars. Three eighteen to play, thirty one nothing. Whistle and another flag. This can't be the same thing. This is going to be offsides against the Saints, so the Saints will give them those five yards right back. The opposite. It's 
it's second down and eight. Rugen, back to pass, throws it across the middle. It's going to be dropped. Almost had it. Josh Anderson should have had another touchdown reception. That one was just off his hands. Wasn't a great throw by Rugen, certainly a catchable ball, though. Rugen, quarterback keeper, straight up the gut. He's got the 15, he's got the 10. He'll trot into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Well, that's one way to find the end zone. A couple of drops on that drive by the Cougars receivers, I guess. Rugen just said, I'm just going to keep this one, take it myself and score. 37 nothing. your score, point after touchdown pending. Snap, set, kick on the way. Good. We have no problem putting that a little PAT on there. 38 to nothing. Cougars, 3.05 to play first half. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web. Just over three minutes to play here, second quarter, 38 to nothing Cougars. And the best part of that is the clock will run in the second half. But we've still got three minutes before we're out of this one. Goad set to kick off for the Cougars. Goad, good a directional kick this one short again. Lamberth is going to take it at the 10. Lamberth 15. Lamberth squeaks forward to the 20. Wilson Bank and Trust, first down Saints. Van Molly going to come back out at quarterback. And 10 at the 22 from Van Molly comes out in shotgun. Three wide receivers, puts one man in motion. Pittman going to toss it to him. Pittman gets the corner, a gain of a couple on first down. Pittman tries the right side of the line. Got a pretty good block out there from Thibodeau. Gain of about three, going to bring up second and seven. <clears throat> Temperature at kickoff tonight was a steamy 90 degrees. Now the sun's gone down. It's dropped a few, uh, few degrees below that now as it already reads 84. Still feels hot. Van Molly in the backfield, hands off to the back, fumbled the football. Cougars have it. Again with those fumbles. Well, they're going to say Lamberth fell on it. Boy, I thought the Cougars fell on that one. We've been pretty blessed with how the fumbles have been going. But that's going to be a big loss of about five yards. Going to bring up third and 15. Actually, it was a loss of about seven yards. Can't afford that. Third and 14 from... 
about the 18-yard line. Not a good position to be in. Van Molly takes the snap. He's in shotgun. Fires it across the middle to Jones. Jones can't catch it. Going to bring up fourth and 15. Lamberth in to kick it away. Goad and Stubbs to receive. Lamberth gets away a high one, but it's short. Goad's going to take it at the 45. Goad 40. Goad dives forward to about the 37. Cougars have great field position again. First down, 10 to go from their own 39. They'll mark it at the 39-yard line. First and 10 for the Academy. Rugen out there at quarterback. Four wide receivers, one man in the backfield with him. That's Ron Washington. Rugen going to put a man in motion. He's going to give it off to the back. Number 22, Stubbs, Stubbs. Works to the left side. He's got the 35. He's got the 30. He's got the 25, and he keeps churning forward to just outside the 20. That's a first down for the Cougars. About 12 yards after contact right there. One ten to play here first half. Rugen throws it out to his receiver, Purcell, incomplete. I was Purcell, the intended receiver. It'll be an incomplete pass. Second down to Calvin with 106 on the clock. Actually, that one was out to Goad. My mistake there. Clay Goad was the intended receiver. Rugen rolls to his right, throws a screen pass to Washington. He'll be tackled at about the 16. Short gain there. Tackle made by number 14 for the Saints. We'll credit Jackson Harrell with that tackle. <coughs> 40 seconds and counting. Rugen stands at his 20, receives the snap, throws it out to his receiver, and it's going to be dropped. That one's dropped by Ivan Purcell. Boy. Rugen working hard back there at quarterback. His receivers and backs dropping some balls. Last time there was a Cougar drop, Rugen followed it up with a long touchdown run. Fourth down and four. Cougar offense going to stay on the field, I believe. Now they're going to call a timeout. Timeout Cougars with 38 seconds on the clock. It's 38 to nothing, Clarksville Academy. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web. Education based on biblical truth, Mount Juliet Christian Academy. They can pray openly would be, if I had to say one thing about Mount Juliet Christian Academy, just means so much to our family. Our children come home, they pray for one another throughout the day, and I think that will carry into their lives every day once they leave Mount Juliet Christian Academy. So prayer daily means a lot to us. For a quality education with timeless values, Mount Juliet Christian Academy. Thirty-eight to nothing, Cougars. Let's see if they send out their offense or the field goal unit here with thirty-eight seconds to play. Fourth down and four. The line of scrimmage is the Saint sixteen. Looks like the offense is going to trot out there. The Cougars are going for it with thirty-eight seconds on the clock. It's not the first time. Rugen and shotgun. Rugen going to roll to his left. He's going to heave this one up in the end zone, and it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted by the Saints at the goal line. 10, 15, 20. I think it was Wilson who picked it off. No, it wasn't Wilson. 
for the Saints. It'll be first and ten for Mount Julian. It's a well-needed catch right there. Yeah, gr really great job there by the Saints, still playing tough. Another touchdown would not have helped us. Rugen, honestly, that was obviously a design passing play, but Rugen probably could have trotted that one in as the whole left side of the field kind of opened up there. But he forced that one into coverage, and the Saints picked it off. They've returned it back to the 25-yard line, first down and 10 with 26 seconds to play. Van Molly, toss sweep Wilson. Wilson going to be tripped up as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Let's see if the Saints are going to try to get another playoff or if they'll just call it. And we'll take it to the end of the half. 38 to nothing Cougars. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
Is that all you get for your money? And it seems such a waste of time If that's what it's all about Mama, if that's moving up Then I'm moving out Matt and Cam coming back to you live here from Simpson Field in Clarksville, Tennessee. This one has been all Cougars, and they are as good as advertised. Number uh, six in the state, uh, according to the Associated Press. It's 38 to nothing, Cam. The Saints are going to be kicking off to the Cougars. What, what do you expect to see out of the Saints here in the second half? Definitely going to be having to see some, some – we'd like to see a little bit of a – crazier plays come out in the second half whenever we're down by this kind of deficit. I'd like to try some new strategies, see what's, see what's, you know, try something new. A little more pass, hopefully. It's going to be a, a kick that's filled in by Goat, and he's going to return this for a touchdown on the first play of the second half. Hold on to your hats. It's a touchdown academy. we got some tired Saints out on the field right now. And some not too happy coaches. Goad returns that one right off the bat for a touchdown. He went there unscathed almost. That is Jared Stanford. Jared Stanford. Stanford's going to come in and uh, kick this one uh, for point after. Presumably, Goad's tired after running 85 yards. Snap, set, kick on the way. And it's good. good. I believe the kick is perfect for the night. 16 seconds into the second half, we have a new score, 45 to nothing Cougars. We'll take a break when you're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web. Hopefully that first kickoff will be no indication of how the second half is going to go. But it's 45 to nothing Saints, and they just didn't put up much of a fight on that kickoff return. You're right about that. Goad's going to be kicking this one off deep to receive Wilson and Lambert. Goad set to kick off. This one's going to be short, and it's going to drop at the 12. Lambert, 15, Lambert, 17, and then there's about 12 jerseys tackled on him for the Cougars. He was just manhandled on that tackle. Number seven, Ron Washington led the way for the Cougars. Wilson Bank and Trust, first down Saints. They're going to give the line of scrimmage up to about the 19. Pretty healthy spot. 11.36 to play, and I believe the 
clock will start running as soon as the Saints put it in play and keep running. Van Mollien, shotgun, turns, hands to the back, Lee. Lee up straight up the gut. He's got the 20, drives forward to about the 22. Gain of about three on first down. Saints could really use some motivation right about now. Calvin Hall in on the tackle for the Cougars. 45-0 your score. Van Molly going to come out in the pistol formation. Three wide receivers to the far side. Van Molly hands to Lee again. Lee tries the left side of the line. He squirts free. He's got his first down. It's a good little run. It's a first down. Solid run there on second down by Elliott Lee. Elliott will pick up a Wilson Bank and Trust first down for the Saints. That's the Saints first down. Maybe that will give us a little morale booster we've been needing. Ten twenty-five to play third quarter, 45-0 Cougars. Van Molle in shotgun. Going to motion Lamberth into the backfield. Misdirection handoff goes to Wilson. Wilson gets back to the Wilson line of scrimmage. Line He's going to be scrimmage. hit and dropped by John Anderson, Anderson and Ron Washington. Gain of a couple on first down. Going to bring up second and eight. Cameron, what do you think the Titans are going to do this weekend against the Patriots? I'm... Well, I got Tom Brady sitting on my fantasy quarterback, so. One of those times where you, you're rooting for the Titans <laughs> to win a 56-49 shootout, is that what you're telling me? One of the things I hate about fantasy is it can make you almost root for that prize and that trophy. Here's the problem. Bill Belichick owns the Titans. Van Molle in shotgun, hands off to Lee. Lee goes to the left side of the line, cuts back to the right. He's across the 35, dives forward to about the 37. Ain't that a true problem. but I really think the Titans can do something. I think the Patriots are going to be one of your two uh, AFC championship representatives. I think the Texans and the Patriots are the two best teams in that league. I really like the Texans this year. I really liked them last year, and they, well, they proved if, it. If Shaw was healthy, they they probably go to the Super Well, in my opinion, they probably make it to the Super Bowl uh, last year. I Van Molle, like third and four. It's going to motion Pittman. Hand off to Lee. Lee tries the left side of his line. Lee's got the 40. Lee dives across the 45. He's got his first down. Well, a first down for Mount Julia. Wilson Bank and Trust first down Saints. Elliott Lee carries over left tackle. Good powerful run there by Elliott. Eight twenty to play here, third quarter. Van Molly in shotgun, back to pass, screen pass over to Pittman, complete. Forty-five midfield. Pittman dives ahead Pittman. till about the forty-seven. Down around the forty-six. Let's see where they spot him. He'll be shy of his first down by about a yard and a half, two yards, I believe. Good gain, though. Good little pitch and catch from Van Molly. Definitely, definitely. About two yards shy of his first down, down second and two. Cougars in a 4-3 defense. Van Molly turns, hands to the back. Lee, Lee makes a man miss. Powers off of right tackle. He's got the 45, dives down to about the 42-and-a-half yard line. Wilson, Bank and Trust, first down, Saints. First down, Mount Julia. Not a bad drive so far. Van Molle in shotgun. Back to pass. Screen pass to Pittman. Pittman's got it at the 40. He'll be sh cut short at about the 38-yard line. Gain of about four. Going to bring up second and six. And Remington Sloan. Remington Sloan in on the tackle there. For the Cougars. 
6.45 to play here, third quarter. Saints are doing a good job eating up some of that clock. Van Mullion shotgun, two tight ends, one receiver to the near side. Here comes Wilson in motion. That was a busted play. Van Molly's going to be thrown for a loss back to the original line of scrimmage. Somebody zigged when they should have zagged. Van Molly turned to hand it off to Pittman. Pittman wasn't there. Van Molly had to eat it. That's a loss of about three. Going to go back to third and nine. Cameron, that breeze feels nice, doesn't it? Definitely. It's really nice for that sun to be down right about now. 5.55 to play third quarter, 45 to nothing Cougars. This is the deepest the Saints have been into Cougar territory all day. Third and a long nine. Van Molly going to turn and hand to Lee. Lee's got the 45 and not much more. couple of yard gain. Led there by number 72 for the Cougars. That's Michael Denny. Elliot Lee is by no means afraid to be hit. Decision time for Coach Roberts. Fourth down and about seven yards to go. Five minutes to play third quarter. Looks like the Saints are going to go for it. Why not? I guess you could open up the playbook a little bit down 45 to nothing. That's what I'd like to see. Van Molly puts a man in motion. Rakesh back to pass, sets up the screen. He's got it to Jones. Jones will have his first down, but the Saints are going to be guilty of an illegal motion. This one is going to come back. That's a shame screen. because that was a good little middle screen there to Jones. Beautiful. But it'll go for nothing. Defense did not see it coming. And now the Saints, I believe, are going to punt. Goads deep to receive. I'm pretty sure if I was the Saints, I'd probably just kick this one out of bounds. Lambert stands at his own 42. Whistle, and the Saints have to burn a timeout. My goodness. 4.37 to play, third quarter. We'll take a break. 45 nothing Cougars. You're listening to Saints football on the World Wide Web. Saints come out of the timeout. First thing they do is have an illegal substitution. Illegal Not good. Substitution Doesn't help. It's going to back us up five more yards. So all of a sudden, a fourth and eight went to a fourth and 18 after two penalties. Here comes Lambert to punt it away. Would be foolish if they kick it to go to give him an opportunity to return another. 4.15 to play third quarter. Lambert catches a snap. Boots this one away, right to Goad. Goad 20. 
This time the Saints will stop him at about the 25. Elliot Lee in on the tackle for the Saints. Four oh four to play. Rugen going to stay in the game and quarterback. Hand off to the back. He's hit by Thibodeau. Ball's on the turf. The Saints have it. Saints have recovered at about the 30-yard line. Gilbert Russ has got the football. It's Saints football. The Saints have the football. Saints will take over after the Academy fumble. 29-yard line, the deepest they've been in Clarksville territory all night. Clark reads 340. Van Molly rolls out, throws it across the middle. It's intercepted. That'll be picked. Van Molly had pressure by Esposito. He just flung it to the middle of the field. Hoping for something. There were about six jerseys close to that football, and they were all wearing the other color. So the Saints give the ball right back. Clarksville takes over with 3.30 to play. Rugen going to stay in there and quarterback his team. Rugen hands off to the back. He'll try the right side of the line. I believe that one's Stubbs. Stubbs fights forward across the 20 to about the 22. Second and five. Under three minutes to play third quarter. Rugen motions Washington. Rugen going to keep it. He's in trouble. Thibodeau got him and with a little help from Gilbert Russ. Pretty good defensive pressure there by the Saints' defensive line. I think a lot of the skill guys are still in there for Clarksville, but the Saints having a little more success. I believe these are some reserves here for the Cougars in the offensive line. At this point, you need to start bringing in some fresh players, get some experience out there. Third and seven, Rugen at quarterback. Whistle now and a flag. This is going to be a delay of game, I believe. Legal procedure. Two minutes to play third quarter. Rugen, third and 12 after the five-yard penalty. Rugen, back to pass. He's just going to heave this one up towards Goad. Goad's got it at the 40. Goad, midfield, he's gone. Cougar's going to heave one up there and goes going to trot into the end zone for a 80-yard touchdown pass. Minute 34 to play third quarter. Here comes number three, Justin Hood, on for point after. Snap, set, kick on the way. 
Good and it's good. No surprise there. Good. We'll take a break. 134 to play third quarter. 51 to nothing. 52 to nothing. Excuse me. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Kickoff going to be fielded by the Saints at the 10. 15, 20, 25. Fighting forward is Bruce. He's going to drag the pile all the way out to the 40. A host of Cougars on the Quite a return from Race McLean, a freshman. Was that Race? I believe that was 27, not 17. At the 41 Joe line. Kirk. Well, it's either Joe Kirk or Race McLean. We've got both listed on the rosters. Boy, hard to keep up with all these uh, jersey <laughs> swaps. and Yeah, had a lot of changes in the last couple of weeks. So somebody had a good return there. 41-yard line, Saints will take over. Wilson, Bank and Trust, first down. 50 seconds to play. We're down big, 52 to nothing. Van Molly going to toss it to the back, and he fumbles, and the Cougars have recovered. The Academy has the football. Stephen Steve, Harris didn't catch the handoff toss. Uh, unforced error. Cougars will take over first down, 10 to go at the 32 yard line. He puts a lot of heart in this game. That's going to hurt. He does not look too happy. New quarterback for the Cougars, Travis Swells. Swells gives to the back number seven. He breaks one tackle in the backfield, breaks another, going to dive forward to about the 30. Gain of about two, second and eight. Tackle by Jay Brown. Probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Looks like that. Well, if the Cougars hurry to the line, they want another play. If they get it, and they don't. The they were trying. Goodness gracious. 52 to nothing, Cougars after three. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
Start of the fourth quarter here. Swells puts a man in motion, hands it off to Anderson. Anderson, 30. Anderson, 25. Anderson, 21. And he's knocked down. Doesn't look like he thinks he hit the ground. A lot of quickness by these Cougars. That's a BFS insurance. First down, Academy. First down for the Cougars. 11.30 to play, fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage is the 21. They're going to hurry up to the line, hurrying up still. Hand off to Washington. Washington makes a man miss. Washington in the 10. He's inside the 5, down at about the 2. We don't see moves that fast very often. That is a quick kid. Swells going to turn, hand off to Washington again. Washington to the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. I hate to say it, but that was inevitable. Boy, they just keep on coming. They're not 58 back. to nothing. 11 minutes to play here, fourth quarter. They're not giving up anytime soon. Here come the Cougars for point after. Snap, set, kick is blocked. The kick is blocked. Kick is blocked by number 58 for the Saints, who I don't have on our roster. So Should be Benny Easton, I believe. I've got Benny Easton as 53. Hmm. Who knows? Good play <laughs> there by the Saints. It's someone. We'll take a quick break. 58 nothing Cougars. We'll be right back. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. It's all Cougars. 58 to nothing. 10.51 to play here, fourth quarter. Number 11, Nolan Blake set to kick off for the Cougars. Blake hits this one short, and it's going to be fielded by the Saints up back at the 32-yard line. Smartest thing you can do. That was number 55 for the Saints. I don't have him on the roster either. So <laughs> somebody did a nice job. Ten fifteen to play fourth quarter. Van Molly and shotgun. Two running backs, one each side. Three receivers to the near side. Here's a motion. Toss play goes to Wilson. Wilson thirty. Wilson thirty five. Mm. Wilson forty. Gain of about seven on first down. Good play there by Wilson. Hit by Purcell and Hunter Jamison of the Academy. Purcell makes the tackle there for the Cougars. Second and a long three. Hmm. Matter of fact, that three is so long, we'll just say second and four. How about that? <laughs> Van Molly in shotgun. Lee's behind him. He motions Wilson. <laughs> Lee takes the handoff, and he is hit and dropped hard by Esposito dropped hard for a three-yard right. loss. Ellie could take some hits, but 
He's got to be feeling it now. Ouch. <laughs> that was a smack. Lee's a gamer, though. He's going to stay right in there. And knowing Elliott, he's going to probably try to deliver the next blow. Let's see what happens. No Van Molle and shotgun. Screen pass. Caught by Wilson. Wilson's got the 35. Dives forward to about the 37. Looks like this academy team's run out of, not run out of any energy. Fourth down and about seven. Let's see if the Saints choose to punt. Looks like it. Lambert in to punt. Lamberth receives it to number 17. He'll be tackled after a two-yard gain. That was Michael Kahn. 7.47 to play here, fourth quarter from Simpson Field. It's 58 to nothing, Cougars. Cougars aren't going to huddle. They're going to go straight to the offensive line. Hand off is to the back. He cuts it up, fills the 35. He's got the 40. He's got the 45. Whistle on a flag. This is a holding against Clarksville. Thomas was the ball carrier. He got about eight, but there was a hold back at the 35. Michael Kahn in at quarterback now for the Cougars. Kahn hands off to Washington. Nope, Kahn keeps it. Kahn, 25-30, 35-40, midfield, and he's hit and tackled there by Harold. Looked effortless right there. I'm sorry, Nathan Green in on the tackle. Michael Kahn with the carry. Clarksville goes straight to the line. They snap the ball quick. Con midfield, 45 on the keeper. Con 40. Con 36, and he's tackled. They are having no trouble getting past this defense right now. Under six to play, 58 to nothing. Con has his team at the line. Con and shotgun. Con back to pass, flings it out to the receiver, number four. Catches it. Travis Swells catches it, a 5'7", all-purpose guy. He's a corner, wide receiver, quarterback, does it all for the junior. Cougars go back to the line, second and two. Five and a half to play. Con ends it off to the back. Morton. Morton, left side of the line, breaks a tackle. Morton's got the 20 inside the 20. He'll have his first down. It's the fourth play, and they've advanced 70 yards. Con ends off to the back. He'll try the right side. He's got the 20. He's got the 15. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. And he'll be hit and dropped here by Wilson with a little help from Easton. Thomas, the ball carrier. Short of his first down. Short of a first down. 
Gives to the back again, straight up the middle. He's inside the 10, he's inside the five, and he'll dive down at about the three. Another BFS insurance group, first down, Academy. <clears throat> we can only assume what's about to happen here. Clarksville goes straight to the line. Con takes the handoff. Touchdown, Morton. Touchdown, Cougars. Clarksville drives right down the field. Only takes a minute 10 off the clock. The good news is Clarksville will take their time here on this extra point. Snap, set, kick on the way, good. 65 nothing Cougars, we'll take a break, we'll be right back. Saints will be traveling to Tri-Cities Christian next Friday, September the 14th. Be sure to join our broadcast. Clarksville Academy will head over to East Robertson for a, a district matchup. Clarksville will be 4-0 after tonight. The Saints will fall to 0-4. Set to kick off here for the Cougars. Number three, Justin Hood. Some confusion. Hood set to kick off. He does, and this one is going to bounce. Be picked up by the Saints at the 15. 20. McLean at about the 22. Esposito in on the tackle. Started with a good little juke. Didn't end so well. It'll be first and 10 from Al Julia. Wilson Bacon Trust first down Saints. Line of scrimmage is a 23. Clock will run with 2.49 to play. Van Molly under center. Van Molly hands off Wilson. Wilson cut it back to the middle. If he'd have went to the sideline, he might have had a big play. Instead, it's a short game. <clears throat> Gain of about... Four going to bring up second and six. Maybe five. They'll give him five, a second down and five. The Saints in no hurry with 2.10 to play. Not at all. Probably a good thing. Yeah. Humble leads Joe Burns, 28 to nothing. I expect these two minutes should fly by pretty quickly. Van Molly motions Lamberth. Hands off to Wilson. Wilson 30. Wilson 40. Wilson 45. Wilson midfield. Wilson, the carrier. Nice. Gotta nice love Noah's play. hustle. Noah crosses into Cougar territory at about the 47 yard line. Not so sure, but I believe that might have been our biggest play of the game. Here with a minute 35 left in the fourth quarter. Virginia 
Van Molly going to option out. Busted play. Van Molly's just going to drop down. Well, it's probably best to do that in the first half when you're only down a couple of scores. When you're down 65, might as well heave that one up. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I wonder what Roberts is prepared to say to his teammates after the game. 40 seconds to play. 65 nothing Cougars. Van Molly, second and 10. Van Molly, back to pass. Flings this one across, and it's dropped by Lambert. Boy, that was right in Lambert's hands. He should have caught that one. Can't miss those opportunities. Five seconds left as time just kicks down. And that'll be the end of the ball game. 65 to nothing Cougars. Be sure to join the Saints next week as they travel to Tri-Cities Christian. Cam, thanks for joining me tonight. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure working with you. Final score here from Simpson Field, Clarksville Academy Cougars, 65. Your Mount Juliet Christian Academy Saints, nothing. For Cameron Lusk, Trevor West, Blake Branham, Ethan Palmer, the rest of our broadcast crew, have a good night. We'll see you next week.